Okay guys, in this tutorial we will learn how we can use the MOSFET that is metal oxide semiconductor field effect transistor as a switch within the Proteus. So first of all, you must have to go to the parts section and click on this P or parts and write 2N666 and 0. And here we can see that we have a MOSFET that can that can control up to 60 volts on its control side so press ok and place this mosfet here now we know that there are three terminals of this mosfet one is gate one is source and one is drain so source and drain are actually they are the part of control loop as you can say that they are the part of power loop not control but the power loop and what about this gate it is actually the control control loop or con it is called uh, simply it is, you can say that it is the control circuitry or control part when we will we will give any sort of voltage or any type of signal on this gate this drain and source will switch and make any object that is uh, in order to be operated will be on like we can say that we have to select one DC volt and we can put this DC source here and we will give like a 12 volt or you can say that maybe 20 volt okay now we will connect ground on the drain side of the MOSFET and we will choose a motor for an operating load right motor okay now we will connect here and here one side of the motor is connected with the dc source while the other with the source pin of the mosfet then we will apply some signal you can write logic toggle active okay then okay now when we will click this logic toggle it will make on the gate or will send positive pulse or plus 5 or any other thing on the gate of the mosfet then after applying the signal this motor must be on and when it is zero the motor will be off so we will run it Okay, now we can say that motor is in off condition when we make it one or when we apply one. So we can see that motor is running. So it is the simplest part possible description of any circuit that is MOSFET circuit which is controlling. Are switching a device and in our case it is the DC motor so hopefully you got the concept thanks for watching